What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys, I'm going to be going over the new features in OSX Mountain Lion. So, Mountain Lion uh, for the Mac came out Wednesday. That was two days ago from the upload date of this review. Now, I finally got it on my computer. I did it through the up-to-date program uh, where basically because I got my uh, MacBook Pro 13-inch uh, uh, after June 11, 2012, Apple will send you a discount code that will give you a free download of Mountain Lion from the Mac App Store. This took about three days for me to get. If you wait a bit for it, uh, it does come eventually. It's just, you know, it takes some time because a lot of people are requesting for it. But um, it does work and it is uh, free, so why not? So now I have Mountain Lion on my computer. And just to prove it, I will go to about this Mac here. This is the new desktop, and as you can see, I'm running version 10.8. And you can see that Mac is gone, and it just says... OSX. That's one of the uh, newest things in this update. They dropped the Mac uh, name uh, in the title, so it's just OSX now. So yeah, so um, basically this is the desktop in Mac OS X uh, Mountain Lion 10.8. Uh, so the first thing you'll notice is there is a new default background. Now I'm usually big on default stuff with Apple, and uh, from previous line they actually deleted it uh, from System Preferences. The old background that was a Galaxy. It was actually like this one, but this one is a bit brighter and has a different uh, shape, I guess you could say, of a galaxy. And it just looks a little different. So this is the default uh, image for Mountain Lion. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for that. And the newest thing also uh, is the dock. So as you can see here, uh, the dock is a little bit different. Uh, as you can see in an image that I put up here, this is the uh, OSX Lion dock. And this has also previously been in Snow Leopard and Leopard. And then before that, you know, it was Tiger and that was the... Uh, two-dimensional dock, but so the dock has changed in Mountain Lion. Uh, as you can see, it's more of a silverish, chromish type of dock, and it's well, it's like rounded on the sides, and the the indicators are different for the apps too. So if I like open, uh, let's say calendar here, uh, you'll see that the indicators appear uh, right on the bottom instead of uh, in the middle of the dock. I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not because it is kind of hard to tell since my MacBook uh, isn't Retina, but um, I guess that's all right. So the dock has changed. Okay, next in OSX 10.8 uh, are some new apps. Now, as you can see, I have them down here in my dock. I actually dragged them here, and uh, I also have them here right in uh, Launchpad. And in Launchpad, there is this new Spotlight feature uh, where you could type in, like I'll just type in Notes here, and you'll see that's the first app that comes up. They just added that. But there are some new apps, and I'll go ahead and go over them. That is Messages. Uh, I don't want to open this. Uh, Game Center notes and reminders and as you can see I have all four of them lined up in my dock so I'm gonna go ahead and show you all of them right now so the first one is reminders um, so this comes directly from iOS and so do all of these other apps that I'll go over um, but basically here you could set a reminder I could say something like using the new dictation feature I'll go over that in a bit remind me to do my math homework at 7 p.m. Okay, so it'll tell me now to do my math homework, and uh, well, since <laughs> that was 19 minutes ago, I didn't even realize, uh, it'll just tell me right in Notification Center. I'll go over that in a little bit too, so I'll just hit check, and uh, then it goes away, and then it will right be incompleted. If you didn't know what Reminders is, that's what it is, and that's also on the iPhone, the iPad, and the iPod Touch in iOS 5 or higher. The next app is Notes. Now, like Reminders, this syncs up with iCloud, whether it be for your... Uh, iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, all four of these apps sync between back and forth through iCloud. So if you have data on notes on your iPad and you want to share it, you could read the notes on your iPad right to your Mac computer. Now, as you can see here, I already typed up a note, and I act this whole note here, I did not type it all. I did this all with dictation on my MacBook in OSX Mountain Lion. So as you can see, dictation is pretty good. There were one or two words that were off that I did fix. Uh, so I just noted this down here for uh, this video. But uh, overall, it came out pretty good, and so I'm happy with how it works. Uh, so that's notes, so there's not much here, this is just uh, notes. I don't know if this is going to replace stickies or not. Uh, I don't see it on my Mac anymore, uh, so I'm assuming that it has replaced stickies. Um, so, but notes is a lot better than stickies, in my opinion, because it's faster, and then you can also go full screen here. Uh, so as you can see, we have like this uh, note type of thing, like notepad. So as you can see, that works pretty well, but... um. 
So that'll go right to my iPad now if I chose to share it through iCloud. So uh, that's notes. Next up is messages. Now this is basically the iMessage app that's shared between iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. So from here, if I have this application on my Mac, I could send a text message to my brother right to his phone. His contacts right here. Uh, and then I could just say hello, send it right to him, and then it'll send right to his iPhone. I'm not going to wait for a reply from him because God knows when he'll reply. This app also goes full screen, um, so uh, here I could send messages. I don't think you can send pictures uh, yet. I don't know how that works. Obviously, you could probably do it from an iPhone to here, but I don't think you could do it from a Mac to an iDevice. But this goes back and forth, free text messaging. Uh, from Mac to an iDevice or iDevice to a Mac, so that's pretty cool. The next and last app that mainly Apple has introduced is Game Center. Now I'll go ahead and open this up. Now this isn't a very important uh, app here. This, uh, you know, Game Center I've always felt isn't the best thing that Apple's done. I know a lot of people really haven't been using Game Center on the Mac. I feel that Apple kind of failed with Game Center. They really didn't put it out there. Not enough people open that app, but they have introduced it on the Mac, so it must have some popularity. I just never felt that I use it enough or uh, like to toy around with a lot. But here uh, basically is me. And now uh, with Game Center on the Mac, uh, apps in the Mac App Store uh, will sync up. And developers have actually introduced some new apps to the Mac App Store uh, considering that there's Game Center. And right now, uh, right up to here, and then you can see my brother just texting me back for messages. Uh, right here you can see... Uh, just some of the Mac apps that are enabled with Game Center, and I actually think these are the only Mac App Store apps that are uh, with Game Center, that have Game Center built in. But there will be more uh, eventually, as you know, when Game Center was introduced in iOS 4 for iDevices, uh, there weren't that many Game Center enabled apps uh, then, but look at it now. So this is pretty much a replica of the iPad version. You know, I could go to Friends and see all my friends here. By the way, you can add me on Game Center if you'd like. It's Mike's iPod Help 101, if you didn't guess. Uh, then we can see my games. Uh, I have 57 iOS games, as you can see, and zero OS X games. But if you want, I could go. If I wanted, I could go to the App Store and get them. And uh, so, yeah, this is pretty much uh, it right here. This is pretty much all they have right now. Uh, but I guess that's okay. And then here, I could just see the request. So that's pretty much... Uh, it for Game Center, guys. Okay, the next feature that I want to go over is going to be Notification Center. Now, Notification Center is new uh, to Mountain Lion. This is a brand new feature that also came over from iOS. And in Mountain Lion, Apple's trying to unify iOS and OS X uh, to be similar uh, so it's easy for the user to use if they have both of those devices. Now, uh, Notification Center can either be activated now from the search bar, right where Spotlight used to be. Now, it's just next to it, and you click it, and you'll see that... Uh, it kind of rolls over your screen and you get notification center. Now this can scroll up and down and then over here I can choose whether I want to show alerts in banners and then down here we just have uh, the settings tab in uh, system preferences to change up stuff. Now this can also be activated by a gesture. Now the gesture is a little weird and I can't really explain it to you so I'll show you if you go to system preferences and trackpad go under more gestures and this is how to activate notification center. You actually touch the MacBook to the right and you swipe it in. Now, I'll just go ahead and go out of here. And there you go. So this is me. I don't have an external camera to show you, but this is actually... Well, let me see. I don't know if you can see or not, but I'm going to take my two fingers and just swipe to the side. Now, this is obviously on the other side for you guys. You can't really tell. It's probably over here, but... And then I could just swipe it out. So I have to start here. I can't do it here. It won't work here. I have to do it from out here. And then you can see it activates. So basically with Notification Center, just like I could in iOS, I could see any app notifications, message notifications, pretty much any apps that give push notifications uh, that you would only see when you open the apps. Now you could get them directly uh, off of Notification Center. So if I set reminders, if I get messages, if I get Game Center requests, if I get Twitter replies, uh, and so on, eventually when Facebook integration comes along, uh, it will give me Facebook notifications too. And that comes in the fall, by the way. Now, the last and main feature I would like to go over in OSX and Mountain Lion is the new dictation feature. Now, don't get me wrong here. This is not Siri. Uh, this is the dictation feature that's included on the iPhone 4S and uh, the new iPad. Now, the iPhone 4S and the new iPad both have Siri right now, or at least the new iPad will in the fall, but Mountain Lion does not provide uh, Siri yet. It possibly could in the future. We'll have to wait and see, but let me just go ahead and demonstrate dictation for you on my Mac. So I'll delete everything here. So let's just say a sentence. Hello, period. My name is Mike Cronin, period. And I have a job as a YouTube partner, period. My name on YouTube is Mike's iPod Help 101 period 
I have over 3,500 subscribers, comma, and almost 600,000 video upload views, period. It's pretty amazing, comma, and I love my fans for helping me get to this level, period. So let's see. Hello, my name is Michael. I didn't even read my last name. And I have a job as a UCAN partner. My name on YouTube is Next iPod Help 101. I have over 3,500 subscribers and almost 600,000 video upload views. It's pretty amazing, and I love my fans for helping me get to this level. Well, except for not recognizing my last name and calling me a UCAN, UCAN partner. Uh, next iPod Help 101. That's alright, but uh, for the most part, it actually did recognize me pretty well. So I'll say a normal sentence here. The cow jumped over the moon, comma, and it was pretty impressive. <laughs> That's not good. I like Apple, period. They are a very good technology company, period. So, if you kind of talk firm and in a slightly deeper voice than you regularly would, you know, if you don't have a very deep voice like me, uh, and you speak clear, you know, there's no background noise, you can actually get perfect sentences, and I have toyed with it a lot, like I said, I typed up the whole information for this video, uh, using dictation, I didn't even type it, most of it myself, about 90% of it here, um, so it does recognize a lot, it doesn't recognize perfectly, you know, because everyone's speech is different, and Apple uses robot-like technology and sounds and words to recognize the stuff, so it's not going to be perfect 100%, and you may want to make sure you include your punctuation, like, actually say the punctuation, like, period, comma, colon, uh, explanation point, and so on, otherwise you'll just get one big run-on sentence without a period at the end. But otherwise, from that, dictation does work pretty good. And the way dictation works is, uh, from default, you have to activate it in system preferences, and the default action is double-clicking the FN key, which is in the bottom left of your keyboard, and the little dictation uh, thing pops up, and then you could hit done, it'll load, and uh, yeah, and then you can get your sentence, you know, and change the sentences if you want, uh, it'll give you recommendations, uh, and so on. And I'll actually go ahead and show you that preference panel. You go to system preferences, dictation and speech, and here you could turn it on or off, and you could select the uh, language so it could recognize you, and um, from there you can also uh, choose your key. Uh, that you want to activate. I just think FN is the easiest because I never, ever, ever use FN on my uh, computer, so that's probably the most easiest for me. And by the way, it's just you guys know, when you are using dictation, you are going to need to have an internet connection. You cannot use dictation, like let's say you're on a bus and you don't have Wi-Fi. Uh, it won't work because uh, it does need Wi-Fi in order to connect to Apple servers to recognize what you're saying because that just, it doesn't come off the bat. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I didn't want to go over everything in the insides of Mountain Lion. I just wanted to go over mainly the new features that you guys would be interested in and uh, give you a little tour of what's new in OS X 10.8 Mountain Lion. If you guys like this video, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button up top. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.